legends in the Buganda kingdom suggest that many years back, this hill was the home of a demigod. At the top of the hill was a well where locals drew water. The story continues that they used to meet this woman who was not like other demigods who had people and because of her peaceful nature, they named her Namirembe, which means the peaceful one. However, modern day historians have a different story. And she was a, a traditionalist. And uh, at that time, she was the one staying at the hill. The hill was a reward to the Anglicans from Kabaka Daniel Mwanga for winning the religious war that reinstalled him as king following the previous victory by Muslims in which he was toppled. In 1890, the idea to set up a church was initiated by a one Nikodemo Sebuato, but after its completion in 1891, they realized it was in a wetland and decided to shift it to the top of the hill. A second church was built but did not last long following a storm that swept it away. New architectural proposals to have a lasting building in place was suggested and another attempt to build a third church was put into action in 1894 with a capacity of over 4,000 believers. This one was eaten and weakened by termites and then destroyed by its builders. According to Rosette Nabatianga, the tour guide at Namirembe Cathedral, a fourth church was built. So it was later decided to make a cathedral that would withstand a lightning that would withstand uh, a storm. Nabatianga says that Alfred Tucker, who was the Archbishop for Eastern Equatorial Africa then, sent for a new plan from England which was drawn up by Arthur Beresford Pite. Kabaka Daudi II laid its foundation in 1915 and was present to officially open it in 1919. So what he designed is what we got here. The design was later edited and uh, the construction was later supervised by Sapolo Kagwa. Namirembe was in the Diocese of Eastern Equatorial Africa, which covered Congo, Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, and parts of South Sudan until Uganda broke away. The Church of Uganda seat remains at Namirembe. <laughs> Dr. Kazimba Mgalu will be the ninth Archbishop of the Church, and according to Reverend Canon Nelson Kawesa, the Diocesan Secretary, this is by church law. According to the Constitution of the Church of Uganda, uh, Namirembe Cathedral is a seat of the Archbishop. At the same time, it is the seat of the Diocese of the Bishop of Namirembe. For 105 years now, the current cathedral, named after St. Paul, has been standing in spite of the myths by traditionalists that the Anglicans would never succeed to construct a church in a location that belongs to a demigod. Solomon Kawesa, NTV. <laughs>